The man come to the window. Like he gets out of the car, him and his son with a flashlight, including them big ass football field lights that he had on the front of his car. Oh. He came to the window, he was like, hey. What, 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 what it do, Coach Crew, man? It's your boy, Kenny Thomas Jr. Back at it again with another video, bro. So look, shit is out, man. Just... Wait, 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 wait. I was feeling that, bro. Like, did y'all, like, y'all really, y'all feeling my new energy, bro? Like, no care, bro. Like, I came in, like, what's good? You know, I came in, like, energetic. So I'm gonna start grabbing y'all attention. And in and, and the beginning of the videos, I usually be like, <clears throat> what's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Kenny Thomas Jr. <laughs> Again with another video. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. No, my nigga, it's it's a change. It's a, it's really a change. Like I'm finna really grab y'all attention in the beginning of the video, and I'm gonna keep it throughout the whole entire video. Cause like if I be myself, bro, I feel like if I be myself, you feel me? I'll be like at 100k like tomorrow, nigga. Boy, if you don't, get I'm so close to 100k right now, my nigga. I got a thousand subscribers. <laughs> But anywho, no cap. As you tell by this title, bro, yes, bro, I got caught having sex outside, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> uh, I can't even give y'all no really no rundown, you know, with that one. I'm going to just go ahead and jump straight into the video. But before I jump straight into the video, bro, I would like to give a special shout out to my boy, your boy underscore Tez, bro. I appreciate that, bro. If you really want to uh, shout out in my video, bro, just go ahead and comment, like, comment suggestions, like, video suggestions of what I should do next. I will do any video. I have any story time. I done been through so much. I done seen a lot. I can do any story time that you want me to do. Drop it in the comments. I got a story for everything. You know what I'm saying? But look, let me shout him out one more time. Shout out to my boy, yo boy underscore Tez. He wanted to see a story time. Shout out to that man. I don't know if he do YouTube, but now I'm going to just put it right here. Shout out to that man, bro. I really do appreciate you for giving me a video suggestion. And you know what I'm saying? I really do hope in the future that you guys just watching this video instead of like just... Don't just like, you know, support me in like the shadows, bro. Like make it known that you support me. Like don't be no hating ass nigga, bro. Like, come on. Like the video. Comment something. Subscribe to my channel if you new. Turn my post notification bell on so you be notified when I drop another banger. And also, wait, you can join the cozy crew, bro. It's the coziest crew in the, in the world. You feel me? Like I'm the I'm the best. Right now, you seeing this video? I'm really the best YouTuber on YouTube. And I know these niggas mad as fuck. Bitch, I'm in a trap with the and we throw it. Most of my subscribers know that my mom was like the strictest person in the world. Like if you know me. You know that my mama don't play about me. Like, so, okay, say if I go out somewhere and, like, I got, I'll say, okay, say if I go out at 8, 8 o'clock. I got to call and let her know that I'm okay at 8.01. And then I got to call and let her know what time I'm coming home at 8.02. My mom was, like, a street person. I'm just saying my mama just cared about I ain't going to say she was street. She really did care about me. She cared about my whereabouts. Unlike some of y'all moms, you know what I'm saying, that let y'all do whatever y'all want. They let y'all have sex when y'all was, like, 12 years old. That's why some of y'all are freaking now, but this is not the topic of the video. Oh! Alright, so let's check this out, bro. I was in high school, bro. My mom was like, um, she was like big on girls coming over. Like we had to stay straight, like just in the living room. Like, okay. I, I didn't I didn't like that. I wasn't messing with it at all, bro. Like, come on now, mom. The living room. Why me and my girl can't go to the uh tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Watch a little Netflix, you know what I'm saying? Chill. Not really chill, but you know, Netflix, you know, you know what I'm getting at. I was talking to this girl, though, you know what I'm saying? Me and this girl, we, we be chopping it up, but like, you know, at, at, the, at this point, like, if you talking to somebody for a long time, y'all like want to try like new stuff, you feel me? So like me and this girl, we, we wanted to have sex. So like we got tired of coming in my house and just sitting there going to my room. Like my mama, like, I'm talking about like at the end of our relationship, bro. She just started letting me go in my room. Like, it is crazy, but it is what it is. So look, me and the girl was going in my room or whatever. We were just sitting there really just chilling. We had her sitting there with the door open. That was lame, and then my little brother would come in and... Bro, if y'all know Fred, bro, you know Fred. Like, baby Fred is just, like, he talk. He just, he just talk. He just like to hear himself talk. He, he just talk, just ramble, just ramble, just about anything. And that's why I ain't even like having girls over anyway. But look, bro, so 
Me and this girl, bro, we found a solution. She had a car, I ain't have a car, so she like come over in her car, you know what I'm saying? We sitting there talking about, you know, having sex, bro, so like, both our heads, like, we both get that, you know, you know, that idea, that idea, uh, above, like, that pop up over your head when you get an idea like this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We both get it, like, we can fuck in the car. <laughs> both of us said it at the same time. I'm lying. We did not both say that shit and say that. But look, you know how you know you get what I'm you get what I'm saying. So look, we both got the idea. It's like we should just have sex in the car. I'm talking about bro. It's like every weekend we start having sex in the car, having sex in the car. But at this point, bro, we like okay. It's hard to find. I promise. Teenagers know that it's really hard to find a spot to have sex in the car. Yet. Like everywhere, it got it got to have like low light. Nobody drive by there. You feel me? But we found just a spot. It was like deep down and like it was a downward road going into like a dead end, like in the middle of nowhere. So we'll go down there like almost every weekend and have sex. Bro. Ah! Like, but it's far, like it's mad far away from my crib. It ain't long, it's like what, 15 minutes away from my crib. And so like, we didn't feel like going there like, you know, every time. But like, if we like really wanted to have sex, we'll go there. We going there every, every weekend, we going there, bro. Okay. It's one night we text him, bro, and she decides to come over to my house. So we sitting there watching a movie, bro. I'm talking about like, like, I don't know, bro. Like adrenaline just start rushing through my body and like this big monster came out of my pet. What? Bro. <laughs> okay, long story short, I was I was getting horny, bro. So me and her, bro, like I'm telling her, I'm like, but at this time like me okay my mama started liking the girl so like at this time bro the door the door been got shut you know what i'm saying baby fred to be in the room with my mama he won't come in and disturb us the only thing that i can receive is like head and that's because you know it's it's not loud she giving me head bro so i'm like man i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to i'm trying to have sex now like i ain't i ain't i'm still i'm still on hard but like i'm trying to have sex like you you you, you did your thing you did good I'm trying to, trying to, I'm trying to get some cookies. I'm trying to get some cookies, bro. So look, me and her, we started looking at each other like, Yo, mom, I'm here, you know what I'm saying? So like, how can we do it? And we both like, we can go to the car and have sex. We can go to our spot. But she was like, no, that's too far. Cause she had to be home like, what, an hour. So I'm like, yeah, you are right. And I thought of an idea. I stayed on the hill. So we went down the street looking for like, Spots. I was gonna say hot spot. We went down the street looking for spots, you know, to have sex, but we could not find a spot. So we were just like, forget it, man. We on the way home, and I see the hill. We go. I've never been up this hill. Like it, it's like a creepy hill, bro. Like I've never been up this hill. We go up the hill, bro, and like it's a big old yard, a big yard. And so like it's it's behind my house. It's behind my house. So we go, we go in the yard and no, we did not know that nobody lived there. Me and her, we, we do foreplay. We don't jump straight into the sex. You know what I'm saying? I got a kiss on her. We got we to gotta talk about it first. Cause like, she was the type of girl, she did not want to have sex until she got wet. So like, you not touching her until she got wet. We parked it. We parked in the, uh, in the grass or whatever. But we did not know it was a house behind us, bro. Cause it's like it had like big bushes and trees, so that's all we saw. So we was like, okay, that's good. Like we thinking it's a dead end. I climb in the back seat. She get back there too. We start talking, and she's like, you ready? And I'm like, yeah. And so we start kissing on each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. y'all know, y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. I ain't gonna get too much of detail with that. You know what I'm saying? But you know. So we start kissing, bro. Start taking off our clothes and start getting like, you know, intimate, like very intimate. You know, so we. Yeah, we, we moved slow, we was moving slow. You know what I'm saying? So, we get butt ass naked in the car, bro. We get butt ass, I'm talking about butt ass naked, bro. I'm talking about, I'm yamming. <laughs> like, I'm hearing her scream, so like, I'm knowing who, if like, if niggas was like, outside the car, I'm knowing niggas can hear it, you know what I'm saying? She was screaming loud. That's how it was in the car, you know what I'm saying? Cause we, was, we so used to being in that dead end, bro. Nobody came down there. Car, all you know is the car is shaking like, boom, 
You know, you you seen like a car shake when you have it. Some of y'all have, some of y'all have. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the car was shaking, bro. Shaking like an earthquake was in the car. You know what I'm saying? I was going hard, bro. I was, I was out of my body. You feel me? Like, and we was having some good. You get what I'm saying, bro. And we have it said, we have sex with the music on. Like, the music could be playing, like, but it's real, real low. Like, we could hear it, but nobody outside can hear it, you feel me? And, like, we turn off all the lights, but the only lights will be on, like, the interior lights. Like, the, you know, the dashboard and, like, the radio and stuff like that. But we dimmed it so, like, nobody could see. And her lights, I mean, her lights, her, lights, her windows were tinted. So, like, you couldn't see up in there. I see this white man, but I'm not paying him no attention. I'm just thinking he's just gonna walk by and pass by. So, bruh, he's he's yelling, hey, hey. And I'm like, is it like is he talking to us? But I'm still killing, I'm still thrashing, you know what I'm saying? I'm not paying that no mind. The dude, he goes away, the sound goes away, so I start going crazy. Like my, my son came on, like, have you ever heard this song by uh uh I forgot what I think her name, her? It's like uh I wanna love you in every kind of way. I wanna do man that song I was I was tell I was killing it bro. I'm to my bam 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 bro and like it was it that's my song bro like I like this song this man comes back he comes back with his truth I'm thinking he's just gonna pass by us like and, and not say nothing to us let me mind you we did not know we was in this man front yard. Like we was in his front yard. It was like so many trees and bushes we couldn't see nothing. We was in his front yard. And so he comes from his house with this big old F-150 truck. Damn, spitting everywhere. But he that that's how big the truck was. Like I'm going, like I'm spitting. He coming with this truck, this big truck with these big old lights. I'm talking about the lights look like football field lights, bro. I'm talking about so bright. So I'm like, what's going on? Like I stopped for a minute. I'm like, what's, what's going on? So I like, I get down and I stop. She said, why you stop? And I was like, because, you know, I, I see somebody and she getting scared. Because, like, she wasn't a troublesome girl. You know what I'm saying? She was a good girl. She was bad for me, though. Oh. <laughs> but anywho. The man come to the window. Like, he gets out the car, him and his son, with a flashlight, including the big-ass football field lights that he had on the front of his car. He came to the window, he was like, hey, what are you guys doing? I sat there, we sat there for a minute. He was like, hey, what are you doing? He was like, had the flashlight. And I was like, man, we just talking, right? He just, you just talking with your clothes off? I was like, man, I just need to see if the window's tinted there, though. No, but I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying it in my head, but you know what I'm saying? So, look. So... I'm getting scared, but you know, I gotta play it out because you know, I gotta be the man, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting scared, I'm talking to the man like respectful. I'm like, hey man, I'm, I'm re really sorry we did not know that we was in your front yard. You knew! You knew! This is him, like, when I get into that voice, that's him. You knew! Yeah, you knew! You know what? You, you, you leave right now. And if you, I'm gonna call the cops. Like, didn't give us nothing, no time to nothing. He's just hating because his old ass and his gay ass son wouldn't get no pussy. They just want to come out there, you know, and start some, start some shit. You feel me? Like, I'm trying, like, I'm not even trying, like, I'm not even understanding. Like, you see, you see a young nigga, you know what I'm saying, in the car getting some pussy. Like, why are you hating on him? Just leave him alone. Let that man do what he got to do. You feel me? Like, don't do that. Don't be that person. So, like, I'm saying all this to say. If you see somebody having sex, do not go up to them and record them or do not flash a light on them and try to, you know, scare them, bro. That's like, okay, but y'all don't know what they going through. Just like us, bro. We was going through something. We couldn't have sex in our house. You feel me? So we took it upon ourselves. Upon ourselves. I talk so fucking retarded. We took it upon ourselves to go have sex in the car. We didn't think nothing of it, you feel me? Like, we, we didn't think, like, it was going to cause any problems, but obviously it did. As I'm putting on my clothes, my girl putting on my clothes, I mean, put, her, put on her clothes too. You know what I'm saying? She back there, she stay in the back seat. But I get in the front seat, I crank up the car, and I just leave. But let me mind you, my house is right in front of this nigga's house. I'm not finna go straight to my house. I'm going straight out, like, I'm going straight out of the, uh, the apartment, like the, uh, the neighborhood, so I can, so I can just seem like, you know, I'm not going straight to my house. You, you get what I'm saying. 
I, I done said you get what I'm saying so many times. I hope you really do get what I'm saying. Ooh. We went straight out of the neighborhood and then we turned around. You know what I'm saying? Niggas said he was gonna call the police, so I just, I just left. I didn't have time for that, you know what I'm saying? We both didn't have time for it. We wasn't on that type of time. We was just trying to make love, you feel me? The police already stayed closer, like, around my neighborhood. Like, it was like police is like, they stay in that neighborhood. So I'm like, it's not, it's not gonna be too hard to get these people. So I'm like, man, am I finna have to go on a high speed fucking chase, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like, what am I finna do? So I just, I just, I just leave the neighborhood. I go to the neighborhood, you know, I leave for like what? We leave and drive around for like what, five minutes, bro. We come back and everything good. We just go in the crib. Ooh. Now, my mama asks us where we go. Up. We say we want to go get some ice cream. And by this time, you know, it's time for her to go. So we lay down a little bit and she set her alarm for like, you know, like what, 10 minutes. And we lay down, fall asleep for 10 minutes and she, had to go, you know? But like, that didn't stop us from having sex in the car though. So like, it's like, it was like a week, every weekend thing, you feel me? Like we had sex like almost every weekend in the car. Or, or it was like on the weekdays too. Like whenever we was off and whenever we felt like having sex. But good times bro, like good times. Like honestly. I was I was really scared, but I really thought that the man was finna get us jammed up, you know. But I hope y'all like this story time, bro. I could do any any. I got a story for every topic that you, any topic that you have, bro. I got a story for it. no cow. I promise. With all that being said, bro, I want you to like this video, comment comment anything in your head, give me some video suggestions. And I will, like, I guess, you know, do the video. And I will shout you out in the beginning of the video, you know what I'm saying? Letting you know that I'm, I'm letting you know, you know. I hope you get what I'm saying. But look, when I hit 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a big giveaway. I'm doing, like, what, 100? I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm a small YouTuber now. Listen to me. I'm doing the giveaway. Three people, I'm giving them $100. I know that's not much, but you know what I'm saying? But it's like, it's the thought that counts. I'm trying to give back and I'm trying to be like a great YouTuber. All my content is real. I don't fake the funk, you feel me? I don't, I don't, there's a lot of stuff I don't do that these YouTubers do, bro. I'm different. So that's why I want y'all, you know, to come to my channel. And yeah. But with all that being said, bro, like this video. Comment, subscribe, and join the Cozy Crew. Turn my post notification bell on so you'll be notified when I drop another banger. But with all that being said, bro, your boy Cozy Kendrick. No, Kendrick Thomas Jr. is out. Bye, have a great time.